Hey you guys, I decided to make a quick video, um, make this a part two to uh, duplicating a website. Remember my first video I showed you a quick little way to use um, Internet Explorer to make a copy of a website. I'm going to show you right now uh, another way to make a copy of a website. Let me open up Internet Explorer. Um, this time I'm going to go to a theme website. I'm going to go to, let's say, themeforest.com. They have hundreds of templates uh, for sale. And I'm just going to pick one thing and I'm going to show you how I'm going to rip it basically right off their website in a live type of preview way. Um, they have a newsletter template here that's HTML. Uh, let's go to the live preview and let it open up. and. It looks pretty cool, right? So this is a, a newsletter, but also a website type newsletter because it's HTML based. Um, let's make a live, live uh, copy of this website. So I see where it's hosted on this particular server. Uh, I'm going to right now view the source to this website. And some oh, it's encrypted. Very nice. Very nice. So these people decrypted. So this lesson is going to turn to how to uh, Decrypt, decrypt the uh, the HTML. Let's see. Well, what do you know? I, it's the first website I really went to um, on Google, <laughs> and I think it decrypted the HTML for me. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna find out right now whether I did it. So it did something. It certainly did something. Um, let's remove the top script part, and I bet you it's on the bottom as well. Let's remove that also. Okay, so let's see what we have. Wow, <laughs> it pretty much did capture the uh, the website for me, but it's very empty. Uh, let's see where the styles are on it. Well, I see here all the sources for the images, so let's quickly go here to the original template website uh, and let's copy the sitting folder URL from the top and let's now insert uh, this, well, pretty much prefix wherever it needs to go. Uh, I see where all the sources to the pictures are. Separator, let's paste this baby in there. Read more. Let's update that. And let's update this image. Uh, let's update the separator. Hmm. Another separator. Uh, what else do we have here? Another image. Another image. Another image. Now, what I'm really doing right now is I'm just injecting this prefix uh, sitting folder where all these images were, so the web page can act as if it's live. Um, I think I got all of them. I'm not sure. There's no CSS sheet, otherwise I would have done it the same uh, to that. But let's look right now at the design of this page. <laughs> and it did it. Um, it's pretty much there. Uh, what's this little script bubble? Hmm. Why do they put the script like that? Well, that can be updated. Let's preview it in Internet Explorer real quick. I'll just save it to my desktop take a look at that I have a copy of this look I'm switching between the real one the real one and the one I have on my uh, computer let's see the read more let's update this one source should be their server and now let's save it and let's preview it again this little X right here that goes nowhere up oh, it turned to the image because uh, I downloaded it. And now let's just change the text. I'll show you how easy it is to uh, change the text on these things. Um, this is test text. And I'm just going to write a bunch of blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's save it. And let's refresh it. Oh, it's right there. Refresh it. And here is my test text. Um, let's quickly do another example. You see how, how quickly I did this? I just pick a site and uh, uh, went on it and figured it out. Let's find another one real quick. And this one was encrypted too. What a surprise. Um, but I'm not going to let that stop me. 
Uh, let's see, let's find another one, another nice one. Um, live preview, okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, it's still loading. Oh, wow, this looks really, really complicated. It's really pretty, uh, but it looks really complicated. Uh, the first thing I want to do is, like I said, view the source. Let's see how uh, the back of this works. And let's copy the source. Let's go back to Dreamweaver. And I'm just going to delete this whole page uh, and change the source to the copied pages source. Uh, now, if you look at the design, you see it looks nothing like what we just did. But that's because we didn't upload the prefix URL, the scripts you're going to have to save to make this design work. Um, what you're going to have to do is to copy the URL, the original URL. Uh, and you're going to have to just quickly paste it everywhere in every source uh, beginning. This prefix is important to make everything work. Um, from that point, you're already going to be able to save everything because you have the link to them. Um, I just updated three things, the style sheets and everything. And Let's see what this page really looks like. Um, let's preview. Let's see what we got. look at that we have everything everything uh, here it says this theme was ripped that's because of a security code uh, which is in the CSS uh, it's pretty interesting what we could do we remove it is remove the uh, security link somewhere over here I'm assuming it's inside one of these styles uh, because it wouldn't have came up unless I pasted these in there um, so I would have to download this style sheet one by one and I would have to look to where this little security code strip is. Notice how it opens up and uh, I'm able to take a look at it in uh, Development Studio. And I could tell you right off the bat whether it's uh, whether it has anything that I don't want it to have. Well, it shouldn't open in Studio. It should really open in Dreamweaver. Um, but you get the point. The bottom line is that First of all, you preview always locally because you don't want a, a track back URL to report back somewhere that your domain ripped a theme. You know what I'm saying? Um, but like I said, there's hundreds of ways to do this. Um, this is just another quick demonstration. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll make a couple more um, here and there, but I uh, hope you guys like it. Bye.